Hello friends, welcome to One and All Kids. We are in our summer series called Start the Party. In this series, we're learning about the joy that God has for us when we live our lives for Him. This week, we're learning about having joy because God loves us so, so, so much. Let's go. everyone, let's get up and worship Jesus. This is a time where we get to sing songs that talk about how amazing Jesus is and how much we love Him. Sing along with us as best as you can. Let's go. How deep, how wide, how long is the love of Jesus? How big? Jesus, Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without Him. I'll never be. Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without Him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be without Him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be. Without him, how deep, how wide, how long is the love of Jesus? How big, how high, how strong is the love of Jesus? Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without him. I'll never be. Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I. I'll never be without him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be without him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be without him. Never gonna be without you. Just like hiding sick, he's always finding me. Cause he loves me so much, yeah, he loves me so much. Just like sticky glue, always with me and you. Cause he loves me so much, yeah he loves me so much Jesus is my friend for life and I know I would never be without him I'll never be, Jesus is my friend for life and I know I would never be without him such an amazing way to worship. When we use our voices to worship God, we are telling Him and the people around us that we love Him so much. Learning the words to our songs and learning what they mean helps us show God that we understand how important He is in our lives. Let's sing our next song together. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he does. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I love is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan. Some plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 His love will never change. I know they are good. I know they are. Plan for me. He's got a 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 plan for me. He's got a
awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know Hi friends, we're gonna sing the hippo song! In the beginning God made the sea and the forest filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high and at the top he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much he cares. In between he had loads of fun. He made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made us. Bye, friends. Great job, friends. We have one more song at the end of the service, and I can't wait to sing it with you. Now it's time for our Bible story with Ollie, so grab your Bibles, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us as we call out Ollie in three, two, one Ollie! You know it, clap your hands. Well, hello, friends. Happy day to you. I'm Justin the Mailman, and do I have a story for you about why we can have joy today? Do you want to hear it? Yeah. If you do, clap your hands. Well, it sounds like you're ready for the story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. This true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' teaching. Jesus told a story to teach us how much God loves us. It starts with 100, get ready for them, sheep. Okay, little sheep, stay together. Now, where is the shepherd? There he is. Wow, look, they all listen to him. That's because the shepherd takes good care of the sheep. The shepherd loves the sheep. He gives them food and water, and he doesn't want any of the sheep to get lost. One day, the shepherd was counting his sheep. How many does he have again? Do you remember? 100, that's right. So he was counting 97, 98, 99. Wait, where is number 100? One sheep is missing. Well, what should the shepherd do? He had 100 sheep, but one got away. So now he has 99 sheep. 99 sheep is still a lot. Do you think the shepherd should stay with the 99 sheep or go find the one that is missing? Hold up one finger if you think the shepherd should go find the one sheep. That's what the shepherd did. The shepherd went to go find the one lost sheep because the shepherd loved each and every one. Do you want to help the shepherd find the sheep? Yes! You do? Then everyone get out your sheep finding goggles. Are you ready? All right, let's help the shepherd find that sheep. The sheep could be anywhere. Is the sheep up here? No, that's just a bird in a tree. Keep looking. Is he down here? No, that's a camel. Where, oh, where could our little lost sheep be? <gasps> Wait, there he goes. Follow him. There you are. We found you, little sheep. The shepherd put the sheep on his shoulders and took him home. He rejoiced because he found his lost sheep. Jesus told us this story to teach us how much God loves us. The shepherd loved his sheep just like God loves us. God loves you and me so much. Everyone is important to God. So we can have joy all the time because God loves us all the time. He loves you in the morning so you can have joy. He loves you in the afternoon so you can have joy. 
He loves you when you go to bed. So you can have joy. God loves you all the time, so you can have joy when? Say it with me. All the time. Oh, hey, Ollie, tell me. Who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. Who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time! Joy, That's joy, right, joy, Otis. Joy, 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 joy. joy, 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 joy. <laughs> Now, let's see how much we can remember from our story today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are going to ask some questions, all of our friends, and if they know the answers, they can shout them out super duper loud. In our story today, we learned about sheep and the people who watch them. Were they called shepherds or were they called the sheep keepers of the highest order? Hmm, I really like those names. Me too. <gasps> But they were just called shepherds! This shepherd, he had 100 sheep with him. Did a lot of sheep. When one sheep got lost, did the shepherd let it go? Let it go! Or did he go look for that lost sheep? He went to find the sheep. When he finally found the sheep, did he yell at it for running away? Or did he pick it up and joyfully run home? Bad sheep, bad sheep. <laughs> Just kidding! He joyfully ran back home for his sheep! <laughs> then he celebrated with all of his 100 sheep together again. Great job answering our questions, friends. Who can have joy all the time? Oh, oh, pick me, pick me! I can have joy all the time! Good job, Otis. My favorite way to remember that I can have joy all the time is by saying my memory verse. This time it's from Proverbs 17:22. And it says, a joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. I just love that verse. Let's all say it together. That is a good idea. Okay, friends, we're all going to say our verse together. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, on the count of three, here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. A, a joyful, joyful heart, heart is good medicine. medicine. Proverbs, Proverbs 17, 22. 22. <laughs> That was awesome. Good job, friends. Great job. Now it's time for our big pause. This is the time where we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and all that he does in our lives. You can pause the video and take some time to think about this question. What things bring you joy? Answer this question with your friends around you when we pause. Okay, my favorite part. Here comes the big pause in three... Two, one, big pause! Oh, wow, that was so good. Everybody was like, oh, that was cool. That was good, it was. Now, we're gonna close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prayer is just when we get to talk to God, and it's fun to share with Him about everything that's going on in our lives. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to teach us about how much you love us. Help us remember that we can have joy all the time because you love us all the time. You're the best, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, my friends. See you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, now is our time for offering. In the Bible, God asks us to give offering back to Him so that He can do some amazing things with it all around the world. But He also asks us to give our offering for other good reasons too. God wants us to give our offering so we know that He is the most important thing, even more important than money or other cool stuff. God doesn't ask us for a whole lot either. He asks us to give back 10%. That means that if we have $10, God wants us to give back $1 to Him. When we give our offering at church, that money goes to helping others in need in our communities and all over the world so that they can hopefully hear about Jesus, just like you do. Talk to your parents about what it means to give your offering today. Now it's time for our last worship song. Stand up to your feet and worship with us.
There is a fire in my heart, in my heart To tell the world just who you are, who you are In everything I do, in everything I say I will never be ashamed, be ashamed Cause I, I just wanna let go Jesus, you have saved me so I will never be ashamed I will sing from the rooftops With all that I have, I'm gonna lift up Both of my hands, I'm gonna make it loud Gonna sing and shout from the rooftops oh, So with this fire in my heart, in my heart I'll tell the world just who you are, who you are And everything I do, and everything I say I will never be afraid, be afraid From the rooftops, with all that I have I'm gonna lift up Both of my hands, I'm gonna make it loud Gonna sing and shout from the rooftops oh. Stop loving us, you'll never stop. No, you'll never stop loving us, you'll never stop. No, you'll never stop loving us, you'll never stop. No, you'll never stop loving us, you'll never stop. No. I'm gonna make it loud Gonna sing and shout From the rooftops oh, oh, oh. You are my God 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 You are my I love worshiping and I can't wait to do it again next time. Don't forget to come back next week and invite some friends to come with you too. Inviting friends to hear about Jesus is so fun and so important. No matter where you are, you can ask a friend to come to learn about Jesus with you. Ask your parents to help you invite a friend this week. Until then, I wanna send you out into the week with one hope, one life in Christ. Bye everyone.